Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra for the month of June. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. If you still don't find your, mes your messages there, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So let's begin. Um, beginning with the fallen angels up here, the first one out is um, Ram, and it is a card of upheaval. The second one is um, Andromalas, or Andromalas, <laughs> hard to pronounce some of these names. Okay, so that is a card of deception. And then we have uh, Glacia Labolos, and this is a card of danger. So, I kind of feel like this is um, somebody who felt this way as though there was danger or felt that there was deception and kind of caused this upheaval. Okay, so um, let's begin here with Ram. So, this is something that... Uh, that threatens it's like uh, the card actually speaks to a revolution that's threatening it's a card of um uh, having to choose sides or or what you believe in and choose with care right um so it's it it, it is about a choice um so this angel here presides over the destruction uh, of rulers and empires, but not just out of malice, okay? Sometimes only war can restore the balance. So he also arbitrates in the reconciliation between enemies from which real justice can develop. Now, um, the next one. And Andromalias is actually what it is, okay. So, um, this is ruled by Mars. Um, I feel that this is about, um, it's about clearing one's conscience, you or them. Um, it can be uh, someone's reaction towards you or you towards them that may have been harsh because they would have suspected um, that the other was being less than honest. So, you know, you or them. It can be uh, like a emotion that uh, it may be born of anger that would cause this upheaval. It's what I'm feeling. I kind of feel like there was a, like a false start to something because of this and because of what I see here uh, in the sitting at the bottom of the playing cards. Um, Gracia Labolas. Um, so this is a card of um, danger. So somebody felt danger. They felt maybe they would have uh, were being deceived or led astray um so he is the patron of confidence uh of tricksters thieves liars um he uh it, it speaks to like um those that would hide behind this uh it's like a a cloak of invisibility they're hiding their true intentions so um he's a very dangerous spirit and his temptations should be resisted okay so putting these together um he felt there was danger felt that there was treachery so to speak um that he was being tricked or deceived in some way that, uh, you know, either, either you or they were hiding something. And so 
although tempted by the connection, backed away or backed off. And in, in that action, they cause the, the upheaval. Okay. Now I will talk about this one later at the bottom of the deck because this is um, actually a very positive one. Okay, so it's it's almost it's like a turn of events. So let's talk about that later. Now, you get that impression that something started. There seems like there was some type of reunion here, a new offer working through the obstacles, six of swords, a healing temperance is here also at the bottom. Okay. Somebody's trying to manifest this with the parfait. But, and then we have the Knight of Shields here also. Okay. So, um, and, and, and this is that person who comes in, tells you what, what it's actually like these cards so they tell you what you want to hear but no, don't really mean any of it right and but this person believes them falls in and and ends up paying the consequences for it this is the story on the card so um this is why they backed off okay so um so it's like there was this meeting that went bad because uh on all of these cards, then we have the Ten of Wisdom in reverse. So it's like um, a loss. It's like um, they back off because they feel they're going to lose something. Or um, it's, it's like um, taking a gamble and losing. Okay. So I see the Four of Love is here next. So uh, with regards to a choice... And we saw that in Rom. Um, this person was not happy with any of the options. Backs off. And we have the choice here in the Two of Swords. They were unable to do it, so they back off. Yep, yeah, you see, it's the same type of message. Okay. So then we have death, seven of swords, the tower, and the hangman. So the tower came in, the upheaval, because th this really reminds me of the tower, the card of Rom. Um, and we have it here. And it falls because of the seven of swords. Um, somebody may have suspected deception so that transformed what should have been uh, good news or forward movement with the chariot being next so that transformed that situation because they thought that they were going to be deceived I feel this is a future event because it comes after this story here. It's on the other side. So um, I feel I'll put this over here for now. Actually, I'm going to lay it there. Okay. I feel like... Uh, the person felt perhaps they had information, but the manner in which the hangman is hanging and the light that casts over him, there's only a part of him that's lit up and it's like two thirds of him is not. It's in shadow. So I don't feel that he had all his information or was not actually seeing clearly. The lovers is in the upright, so this connection still lives. It's still felt. It's possible that um, 
it's possible that somebody or that person still desires uh, a new start. We have the Ace of Shields here. Um, or that you do. Um, with this Page of Swords, um, this person could be watching you or you are watching them. Yeah, you see here that we have the same message again. We have the healing, we have the transformation, uh, the death card, and right in the middle, right on top of the death card is Raven, who is escaping somebody's bad intentions. So that's exactly what happened. It's why the healing didn't take place. The Three of Hearts and the Seven of Clubs are here. So the Seven of Clubs, um, is, um, it speaks to problems with, uh, the opposite, opposite sex or with a partner. It speaks to some type of change in a relationship. It can speak to, um, somebody feeling, uh, defensive or being defensive because of a strong belief, which we already saw in the cards. Three of Hearts emotional difficulties, uh, perhaps an inability to decide uh, who they want, uh, what they want, uh, where they want to be. Um, it's somebody who's feeling very confused and lost with regards to the situation. And we see that energy is carried up here. Okay, something made them upset or, or, or this person could have even made you upset the way they are. Um, this is learning something or getting angry about something and you can see how the finger's pointing like out. <laughs> so um, there's confusion here over a choice. And maybe they're confused over 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 what to do this is having multiple options and not knowing which one to choose again it goes back to confusion eight of swords somebody has a lot of fears um they don't see a way out um they're trapped in their mind, really. And and we see that over here. This is what caused all of this in the beginning uh, to begin with because um, we have the Nine of Spades, the Three of Spades, and the Ten of Spades here. That's a lot of, uh, those are swords, you know. That's a lot of uh, sword energy. So the Ten of Spades is feeling like a victim. That's exactly how this person felt. That's why they did what they did. It's worry. It can be an ending. The three of spades is, um, uh, it, it's like, um, well, it can be that heartbreak or disappointment, but it can also speak to um, miscommunication, misunderstanding. It's, it can speak to separations and breakups because of misunderstandings. The nine of spades is overthinking which is what they do or what they did imagining the worst so somebody whose fears really took hold of them it could be um Lady of Swords, this is most definitely you. And this would be representing them. And in, be in between you two, there's this sword. Um, and it is cutting um, the lifeline at the wrist. So um, you could be, tr you know, feeling trapped in your tower, reflecting on this message. They may also be reflecting, but, you know, they are in the upright here. You may be thinking of sending this person a message. You may be worried about the uh, response that you might receive. 
and so you're undecided uh, because you're here, here you're upright, here you're reverse. So you're undecided whether you should uh, um, send off this message or try to make peace here. And the Eight of Clubs is um, is feeling troubled or worried, um, and and this is exactly what what's going on with you here. Now. Here we have this uh, Knight of Cups, and um, this can be the person coming forward to apologize or to bring a new offer. Okay, so, um, and we have the Eight of Wands. Like I said, I feel this was a uh, future event because of these cards here. Um, I feel it belongs here. The Nine of Clubs is a very, very fortunate card. It's something that happens quickly that is very favorable to you. So the only thing here that could be favorable to you is this Knight of Cups coming back in to explain, um, to apologize, to make a new offer. This angel at the bottom of the deck, his name is Gap, and he brings change to this situation. It is a card of change. It is a card of developments and new developments, and this is coming in for you. Okay? Um, it's like getting that lucky break a very favorable turn of events with regards to this situation. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.